Welcome to Student Spotlight, a presentation of College Success Arizona. This program features the hardworking college students who have earned scholarships from College Success Arizona and are pursuing their educational goals and career passions. Today on Student Spotlight, we interview Laura Cabrera Medina. I was born in Baja California, Mexico, and when I was two, my parents moved uh, to the United States, and I have lived in Phoenix, Arizona ever since. And where did you graduate from high school? I graduated from high school, from Bioscience High School in 2016. And what are you doing now educationally? Um, now I am currently attending Grand Canyon University, and I am studying um, biomedical engineering. And I hope to graduate with a bachelor's degree in 2020. And how old are you currently? I am 19 years old. Is that a tough course? It just sounds like it would be a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of um, math and engineering courses, um, which I'm very interested in seeing how that's going to uh, go about. Um, I'm currently taking a programming class, and I'm finding some challenges of, like, um, that course requires different modes of thinking in order to be able to solve some of the problems that we're looking at. And I'm just very excited to see how these other engineering classes are going to pan out. We hear a lot in Arizona, obviously, about ASU, the U of A, NAU, Northern Arizona. And GCU, we don't hear so much about. We know it's there. Uh, and it's a much smaller campus. Talk about your experience so far at Grand Canyon University. Oh, everyone's so nice at Grand Canyon University. It's a very small but safe community. And I feel that um, I can talk to a lot of people. And um, if I would just ask for help... Um, to anyone in my class, uh, they are more than willing to help me um, with my coursework or help me understand. Um, so I really like that aspect that GCU is smaller and everyone can communicate with um, their peers and other classmates and be able to help each other out and just grow as a community. With a degree in biomedical engineering, what is your dream job or your career aspiration? Um, with biomedical engineering, I would really like to work in the prosthesis field and um, possibly help create new uh, robotic prosthetic limbs or any kind of new technology that involves um, artificial limbs just to help um, people that might run into that challenge of not knowing or not, I mean, not having that ability of the extra hand or the leg um, that they might be missing. And what is the motivation for this? A couple years ago, my uncle uh, lost his leg and has been struggling with his prosthesis, just um, that it doesn't fit right or it hurts or just he's uncomfortable with it. And I really want to uh, go into the field and be able to um, possibly help extend the field and create possibly new limbs. And also my dad, a couple years ago, lost um, his finger and he has really been... Um, hurt by the loss, and he just really wants a way to um, possibly get that finger back in the future, if that's possible. I'm um, going to the field to see if there is a possibility to advance that and um, just create a new um, area in medicine and in technology also to give people with that has lost their body parts the ability to possibly gain them back. And you're a, a recipient. You worked hard and earned the College Success Arizona Scholarship, which provides up to $6,000 per year for educational expenses. Can you tell us how that has helped you financially? Oh, College Success Arizona has really helped me a lot. With GCU, I was able to get some of the academic scholarships, but I was still I still had a gap in being able to um, finish paying off my my schooling. And with College Success, that was, they provided the resources for me to be able to finish paying, paying off that gap and be able to go to school and continue my education. And in addition to the financial aspect of the scholarship, you also receive specialized mentoring services, essentially by what we call a success advisor through College Success Arizona. And your advisor is uh, Myrna Cardenas. Can you describe Myrna's uh, role in your life, how she's helped you out? Oh, Myrna has been a great, um, a great mentor for me so far. Um, I have only been in school for two semesters, but in these two semesters, she has really helped me out with some of the issues I might be running to, such as like um, procrastination or um, time management. She really goes and like helps me find tools and ways to work through those issues. 
I have also gone to the different events that College Success uh, holds, and um, I was able to work on my resume and be able to develop some skills that I might have not been able to develop if I did not have uh, College Successes and Myrna's help. And for middle and high school students considering college, can you offer some advice? For students going into college, some advice I would have is to always stay motivated and to be aware of what your goals are and what where you want to be in the next five years. And just realizing that what you need to do is capable um, just by looking for different scholarships or looking for different volunteer opportunities and widening your scope. And if they are able to accomplish those things, um, reaching their goals should be right around the corner if they just keep up those uh, good habits. You said you've only been in college for a couple semesters, so your experience, the experience, is still fairly fresh and new for you. But this far, can you tell us what the best part has been? Uh, So far, I really feel like the best part about my college experience is being able to meet new people and get involved with the community and just seeing their aspects of learning what career choices they're taking and why they're choosing to take or they, why they chose to pick those career paths. Just meeting new people that can help me grow and learn as a person and a student. Thank you, Laura, for the interview and for working so hard to make a difference in our community.